Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Welcome. Um, this is just a little spontaneous, little fun little video um, of no importance. I just I randomly wanted to make it uh, about this really cool little program called Betacraft. Um, this tutorial definitely has nothing to do with any future projects related to anything or anyone even related tangentially to this channel. Um, um, <coughs> anyways, so Betacraft is really cool. It is a program made by, I think, Polish developers. Uh, it makes running older versions of Minecraft much, much easier because although possible right now on the modern Minecraft launcher, it's a bit of a mess. Um, so for those that are following along, it's it's ridiculously simple. I just want to run through it. First thing you're going to want to do is head over to betacraft.uk. This webpage will hopefully look very nostalgic for many of you. Once here, click on the download now button. Here you will be presented with two options, the latest Windows release and the universal launcher jar. Now, I'm not totally sure, but obviously the Windows version is for Windows and the universal jar I think works on Mac and Linux. Um, so pick the applicable version. If you're on Linux specifically, uh, either version should work. Although if you download the Windows version, you're gonna have to run uh, Wine to get it to work and Wine cannot work with everything. So try the universal jar first and see if that works. My apologies for the uncertainty. I just don't have a Mac or Linux to test it on right now. So I'm just gonna have to hope. Um, but this, this program is very simple. So hopefully it shouldn't be too much of a hassle to get working on those operating systems. However, for our purposes, download the latest Windows release. Now, what's really nice is that this program is literally just the EXE. There is no files, it will not install anything, it is just the EXE. Um, so for me, uh, I'm not gonna download it because I already have it, but if you take a look right here, here is my original version, launcher 1.09 underscore 16 dot EXE. That's it. From here, double click to launch, and up will pop Betacraft Launcher version 1.09 underscore 16. Uh, once you're in here, you're pretty much done, although there's a few more things that are very important. It'll bring you this menu. Here you wanna log in with your Minecraft account. For most of you, this should be logged in with Microsoft. Click here, and you'll be given two things. First, a link to Microsoft.com, simply copy and paste this. So Control C to grab it, paste back into the search bar you'll be brought to this page. Navigate back to Betacraft. Now to give you a second thing, code. You're gonna wanna copy the code, same thing as last time, Control C, Control V, paste it in. And with this code, you can click on next. And from here, you can log into your desired Minecraft account. Obviously for me, it's already saying the fake bigmarsh at gmail.com because that's my Minecraft account. Um, so go ahead and put in your password and sign in. Nobody hack me, please. <laughs> It'll ask for permission. These are all safe, you can say yes. All the permissions it's asking for are no more dangerous than any of the ones that your regular Minecraft launcher would use. So say yes and you're all done. From here, you're logged into your Minecraft account and you can start Betacraft. However, before this, you're gonna have to select a version. By default, it'll be 1.7.3, which for my specific purpose, cough, cough, is perfect. But if you want to access literally any of the known old Minecraft versions, whether that be, um, you know, original releases, in dev, inf dev, alpha or beta, they're all here. <laughs> when you just like that, it's it's done. You're, you're ready to play. Uh, I'll just walk you through it a little bit. Up here, you've got all the servers. This is just like every server that's on display right now. You can even add your own through some method. I'm pretty, yeah, click here to learn about your own server on this list. Um, you know, there's there's a thriving community. You can go and join servers and meet people. Uh, there's also some other fun things. If you click on edit instance, you can change the icon, the name. Um, you can change the Java arguments, just like the, the regular Minecraft. You also select add-ons and here you can do some really fun stuff. You can select like unlicensed copy and that'll put unlicensed copy up the very top of your, uh, of your screen. You can switch game modes if you're going from a really old version that was only creative into one where you want it to be survival. You can use that. You can make the game force into full screen. You can add a quick game button. Uh, you can play the demo. You can, 
use offline data saves, which I think are something to do with servers. There's a bunch of really cool stuff to mess around with in Explorer. And if you're confused with any of the mean, all you have to do is click on the name and it'll give you this little explanation. And then you simply you, 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 you click play. There's no more to do except start up the game. And with any bit of luck, we're in. Easy as that. And from there, yeah, you're done. You're good to go. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Hope you all install Betacraft for no particular reason. <coughs> and have a great rest of your day. Thank you.